Hello and welcome to this new video on my YouTube channel. My name is Lucas, I'm from Knife Art and today we are going to talk about my visit at the Hinora factory. Hinora is a company run by father and son, so Tsukasa Hinora, who is the third generation, and Mutsumi Hinora, who is the fourth generation. Their knives are really, really famous, especially those from Tsukasa-san, and so his knives they sell in the regions of thousands of euros and if a shop gets one it's almost immediately sold out. Uh, I ordered some of his knives and my supplier told me it will come in uh, five years or so. So it's yeah amazing how popular his knives are. And the knives by Mitsumi-san, so uh, the fourth generation, are also quite popular. They're not that bad when it comes to delivery. But uh, yeah, I also have to wait like one or two years if I order his knives. I already did order some, so in case you're looking for them, please shoot me a message and I will put you on my back order list. But let's talk about my visit at the factory. So when I came there, they were already really busy because there were many people, you know, they have a lot of back orders. And yeah, overall they were kind of stressed, but still they took the time uh, to have coffee with me and yeah, just sit there for, uh, for a chat. So they told me about their history, which I will tell you about in a second. But they also yeah, gave me feedback on a knife I brought. I will tell you about this uh, in a couple of months. And uh, yeah, they also just told me kind of their story and what makes their knife special. So uh, one thing that yeah, I also could see when I visited the factory is that I really put a lot of effort in research and learning about uh, the knife production in general. So this, for example, was the only factory I saw so far where they had a Rockwell measurement tool, so to measure the hardness and many other tools just to really learn about the steel. And also that's kind of their speciality, so they really focus on a good heat treatment and that's basically what makes them so special. Uh, but that was not always the case, so in the past they were producing hatchets, uh, which is used yeah, uh, for farmers in the uh, construction industry. And yeah, that's how they started and they somehow shifted to kitchen knives and started learning about the heat treatment. That was mostly done by uh, Tsukasa-san, so he learned a lot about it and he passed it uh, on to, to his son. While Tsukasa-san started making kitchen knives, he was not the first one in the family to run the forging business. So as I said, uh, he's the third generation, so there were two generations before him uh, making the hatchets and he was the first one making the knives. And until today he really focuses his production on traditional crafts, on a lot of handmade steps. So for example, he is one of the very very few blacksmiths in Japan that still, or who still forges his Damascus himself. So for his famous river jump knives and all the other Damascus knives he makes, uh, he really forges every layer uh, together by himself. While all the other blacksmiths basically buy the pre-laminated material and just yeah, forge it and grind it and that's done. Uh, so if you buy a Tsukasa Hinura knife, uh, you really get a great craftsmanship product. His son, Mutsumi-san, shifted the production a little bit in order to create bigger quantities. So for example, he's using more advanced technologies and newer technologies and he's also learning a lot from other people all around the world and he also passes his knowledge to other people all around the world. Therefore, his knives are a little bit easier to get, so I hopefully will get some next year, but the knives are still following Tsukasa-san's sample and have a great heat treatment, great quality and yeah, are overall great knives. After having our talk, I also was able to watch the production for a very limited time because they were really busy and don't want uh, a strange German guy standing around. Uh, so I was able to see how Mutsumi-san forges a blade and I was able to see a sharpener. Yeah, actually there are several people working in the company, but it's the same as in Germany. There are not many people who are interested in learning a traditional craft, uh, so it's really difficult to find new apprentices. Before finishing this video, let me show you some of the knives they showed me when I was there. So what you see on this table is basically, I think, something like 10,000 euros of kitchen knives. And most of them are made by Tsukasa-san, some are made by Mitsumi-san, and I'm just totally in love with all of them. I really hope that I will get them soon and that I will be able to offer them to you guys. 
and of course I hope that you enjoyed them as much as I do. Also, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, please uh, subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my email list that is linked in the video description below. Other than that, I yeah, hope you had a lot of fun, you learned something and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Cheers!